everyone, it's Christine and welcome back to Paranormal TV. So I know it's pretty dark in here, but it's kind of late at night. Actually, it's not that late at night, but it's definitely dark outside. And I wanted to film this video earlier, but I could not find my camera anywhere because I was going to bring it with me over the weekend and I was away for the weekend. And I forgot it in my dining room and somebody moved it and put it in like a really weird spot. And I was like doing all this work for my channel and I got into like the biggest mood to film but I was like, I'm gonna do it even though it might be dark. So hopefully you guys don't mind. Today I figured I'd film the video about the bed and breakfast that I'm gonna be staying in in Gettysburg. So I will be staying in the Dobbin House Tavern in the Gettys Town Inn and I am so excited it because it is supposedly haunted. So in 1776 Reverend Alexander Dobbin built this house. It's actually the oldest standing structure in Gettysburg which means there's a ton of history behind it. So the home was actually part of the Underground Railroad which is so cool. It was north of the Mason-Dixon line. I just think that is so cool that it was part of the Underground Railroad. And after the Battle of Gettysburg, it actually was a temporary field hospital. So the Dobbin House is across the street from the cemetery that Abraham Lincoln gave his Gettysburg address, which is also so cool. This house is listed on the National Register of Historical Places. If you are in Gettysburg, there's actually free historical tours of the Dobbin House. And one of the things that they talk about when you do tour the house is how the Dobbin family planned to protect themselves from Indian attacks. So the legend of the Dobbin house is that runaway slaves actually haunt it as well as the former owner. So I actually found a blog post which I will link down below and I'm going off of memory here. So they ate at the tavern and apparently the kids that were there were very cold during dinner and they were actually freezing. Later on they went on a tour of the house and the person who wrote the blog said that he saw this blue glow from the right side of a window and they thought that it was just a light but then the light kind of disappeared. Later on the person's son said that they saw a little girl in that same window. Nobody was supposed to be there. They were doing tours so nobody should be in the window but the son believed he saw a little girl in the same window that the light was. So this little boy's story kind of backs up claims of the haunting because there's also a little girl spirit that is said to interact with kids during dinner time. So I will link that down below if you guys want to read it. When I'm there I'm going to be doing an investigation and hopefully I catch something good. I'm so excited. I'm hoping that I can interact with some spirits and I don't know I'm just so excited I can't wait. So let me know what you thought about the haunting of the Dobbin House and the Getty Senate and I will See you next video.